Good morning, church. My name is Kevin Lee. I'm part of the lay preaching team at Brony Park Uniting Church. And today I'll be doing the story for the people young at heart in our, con- in our congregation or anyone that's listening in. Now, this is a bit of a story or a bit of a game that I had kind of prepared some time ago as we have had some time um, in our social isolation. It's related to the sermon I have prepared for today as well. Now, a few weeks ago, sitting in my lounge at home, I tried to count the number of countries I had visited in my life so far. I did so because it will probably be some time before international borders will likely be opened, and I wanted to see how many places I could remember visiting. And I brought out my globe at home to see if I if, if it could aid in my memory. Well, I could only remember visiting 28 countries only. Now, I have travelled quite widely, you know, before, you know, uh, especially for business overseas. But when I try to count all my trips, I, I tended to visit the same country many times. So here is a task for you this week. You know, maybe see how many countries you have visited or can remember visiting. Each time you travel, you always learn something new. It's like reading a book, you know, reading the newspaper, or even reading the Bible. You tend to see or learn something new each time you read. I keep telling my kids this as well. Not sure whether it's hitting home. Now today we are going to talk about houses. When I was a child... A long time ago, the house was probably probably one of the first real objects that I probably knew how to draw. You know, a, a triangle on top of a square, and you pretty much have a house with a roof. Add some more smaller squares and a rectangle, and you have a house with windows and a door. Maybe I've watched Play School too many times. So I'd like all of you to think about places you have been to in the past. And, and for some of us, it might be uh, the long ago past. Now, when you think about it, do all houses look the same? What are some of the unique house designs you have seen? Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say some names of houses from faraway places. Some of the places might be even be quite exotic. And maybe you can see where they come from. I know some in our congregation are quite well-traveled. So I'll say a name, and I want you to think about where this house design has come from. You know, you know, Picture in your head, how does it look like? How is it made? Okay, the first name is a teepee. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard the word teepee. Where is a teepee from? And how does it look like? And what do you think it's made of? Okay, you can write it down. You can email it to me later on if you want, if you wish. The next word, yurt. That's Y-U-R-T. Where is a yurt from? Think about how it looks like and think about how it's made. If you know the answer, maybe write it down. Okay, the third house design, a rondevel. Rondevel, R-O-N-D-A-V-E-L. Where is a rondevel from? How does it look like? How is it made? I'm sure some of these basic traditional type of houses are quite unique. Fourth one, bure. Now, I'm sure some of you might know this one or have heard Bure, B-U-R-E. Where is a Bure from? How does it look like? How is it made? Okay, if you've got that, write it down as well. So I went through a teepee, a yurt, a rondeville, and a Bure. Now, after you've done that, I'd like you to think about your own house especially the house that you're living in right now. 
Does a house make a home? If not, what makes a house a home? Is it a flat screen TV? Maybe a, a fancy modern kitchen or bathroom? Will that help make a home? Or will that help make a house a home? So what do you believe in your own circumstances that makes a house a home? It's a good question, isn't it? My answer is the love and care of relationships of the people within, within your household. It could be your direct family and maybe your relationship with your neighbours. Maybe even the home could be extended to the street. Maybe the home could be extended beyond the street to your local community. Love, peace, harmony are all the building blocks of building a home. For some, a home could be a spiritual link to a place or gathering. Home could even be our own church. I'm pretty sure some of us feel the comfort of walking into our church and, and really missing that in, in these special times. So let us pray. Dear God of love and care, let us build homes not only in our house, but beyond. In our current challenging times, let us find love and peace in our own homes and find our ways to extend our care for loved ones we miss and cannot see in person wherever they may be. Let us be reminded to have open hearts in all that we do and all that we face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.